Get ready to discover the Canadarm's incredible story in space. Thanks to interactive touchless technology, you can use your hand to interact with the content when in front of the screen. Swipe your hand in a lateral movement to move to different Ooh, sections. Fancy. Point to the interactive zones to begin the animations. Try it and see. In front of the touchless screen, move the sections using your hand or select an icon from the menu bar. To access a section, select the Go button. <laughs> in front of the touchless screen, select a thumbnail to access the content. It says it's touchless, but you really have had to touch it. From 1981 to 1993, five Canadarms were ordered by and delivered to NASA. The Canadarm debuted during the second flight of the shuttle program, mission STS-2. American astronaut Richard Truly deployed the Canadarm outside of the cargo bay of the space shuttle Columbia and tested the arm's metal by experimenting with its various functions. The end effector, located at the end of the arm, acted as the hand of the Canadarm. It consisted of a ring with three cables that would snare, capture, and tighten around objects such as satellites, modules, and the inspection boom. The Canadarm had three joints, like those of the human arm. The shoulder section had two possible degrees of movement. The elbow had one, and the wrist section had three for a total of six degrees of movement. In 1998, the joint motors were improved using servo power amplifiers that enabled the arm to move objects with a heavier mass. This important modification provided Canadarm with the extra power required to assemble the International Space Station. The Canadarm measured 15.2 meters in length and was 38 centimeters in diameter. It was built of titanium, stainless steel, and graphite epoxy. To resist the extreme cold of space, the arm had its own internal heating system. Typically, it used less wattage than an electric tea kettle, 300 watts. Attached to the space shuttle, the Canadarm's role was to capture and move objects with masses of up to 266,000 kilograms. In space, the arm moved at 60 centimeters per second without a load and at six centimeters a second with a load. Over the course of its 91 missions, the Canadarm completed various tasks, such as manipulating modules and deploying satellites, and it served as a working platform during astronaut spacewalks. With the addition of the inspection boom that doubled the arm's length, the Canadarm was also responsible for scanning the shuttle's heat shield tiles for any damage before returning to Earth. 